your old buddy Microchip here playing Trains 2019 Platinum Edition. And this is Tidewater Point, Tidewater Point, Episode 26. Sometimes I get excited and I can't speak clearly. Uh, here we are at River Point on the Tidewater uh, map. And we're at the River Point Yard, and you can see we got a bird's eye view here, don't we? We are way up here. Uh, there's Purdue Grains way back there in the background. There's the TOFC and container offloading. Uh, there's an engine right under the bypass here that you can barely see. There is, uh, what's his name? Jeff. Yeah, there's Jeff right there. And you can see uh, we have some uh, cars over here, this smaller yard over here, waiting for use by Purdue Grains. Why are we over here with Jeff? Because it's Jeff's turn. And Jeff is going to see if there's anything he can send out. Uh, so let's see. Is there anything? Uh, let's see. So we have, doing my old uh, marker check here. This is where, when we have to send them out. So these ones over here, nothing has to go. This little yard over here, because we have this crossover and everything, is a bit shorter. So we do have this right here. And these are all going to River Point Park. Now, we have this train already waiting to get into River Point uh, Yard in order to get uh, stuff done. Um, but he's on a different job, so it's not him. And when I look at my spreadsheet, I say, who has nothing to do right now who is available at the same time? Well, that's going to be Harry. Harry, right here in his C30-7, is our man. Uh, he is going to now be... Uh, told to go to River Point. Now, do I have him down for work orders already? Let me look at his uh, switch list. Uh, Harry, where are you at? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's he's all set. He knows what he's got to do. Okay. So let's get Harry a moving here. Probably should check those switches. Probably a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. Then this one here. Yes, that's correct. That is not correct. No, no. Here. And we'll have him back down on the main line here. Just because it's quicker. I think anyway, isn't it? Yeah, maybe not. Maybe, maybe he's going to be better off coming through the yard. Yeah, I changed my mind. So he's not going to go. He's going to go this way. And then he's going to go this way. Yeah, it's going to be quicker, I think. Uh, this way, this way. Not that I'm in any hurry. Of course. How'd you kill your bell there? Harry. And you can pick up your speed a bit. We get you up to about 15 mile an hour. That ought to be good. Something steaming on the lake over there. Is that a is that a boat? Barge? Something, something steaming over there. Something steaming over there. Alright, let's give these folks a little bit of a warning here. I had somebody say that, you know, you really don't have to blow the horn at these service roads. I like to. I like to blow the horn at the service roads. Again, I'm not running prototypical people. If you've come to see a prototypical running of railroads, this may not be the channel for you. Because I don't do it. Alright. There we go. Let's pop down over here now. He's going to have to go across this just a little bit. Slow down so my conductor can jump off. Very good. Throw the switch. He's fast. He threw. He got off and threw that switch in moments. All right, so now we're going to send him over this way. Yes, and yes. There we 
go. Not that I don't appreciate the the insight when people, uh, uh, you know, they uh, message me. I say message me when they uh, post a comment and they tell me, you know, this is really the way you're supposed to do it. I appreciate it. Uh, I enjoy getting those because I like to hear what, you know, what's supposed to happen. It's not necessarily that I'm going to do it, uh, but I do appreciate hearing from you guys. And uh, when you let me know I'm doing something wrong, that's fine. Any interaction is a nice one in my in my book. I like Well, not any interaction. Okay. There are some things people could write to me that would not be pleasant. <laughs> Don't start writing things to me to see if you can... Uh, press the limits of what is uh, good and what's not. All right, so we're going to send him now to uh, River Point. And from what I've seen in the past, he's going to get right up on that other train that's there. I'm not sure why, but that's all right. So we're going to send him to uh, not River Point, inbound, just River Point. That's right. All righty. So he's on his way now to River Point. That is going to end Jeff's turn. That's all he had to do well, just to see if he could get anything out of his yard. The yard master told him when he could get out. And he made the call. So uh, here he's on his way. So I'll put you guys on pause until I figure out what we're doing next. And we're back in the Tidewater, uh, Tidewater Yard. Uh, this is Duke. We've not used Duke yet. He's been parked on this track since this series started. And he has to go over to Exxon Oil. Somebody, I don't know, Andrew or somebody, got delivering those, uh, done delivering those nine oil tankers to Exxon Oil. That's right near Tidewater here. So we're going to take a ride with Duke out that way to pick those tankers up. Okay. I believe he's in an SD70. That seems to be my favorite. SD70 ACE, that's what he's in. Here he goes now. Back him out of here. Turn on his light. Probably a good idea. He's got high beams up. There we go. We're going to send him the same place that we sent Harry just moments ago. So if you enjoyed Harry... You're going to enjoy this because it's the same darn thing. See what I'm saying? Here he comes rolling out. All right. What if we juice him to 45? What are we going to get? We're going to get 16 miles an hour. I'm going to be happy with 16 miles an hour. There's 16 miles an hour, and guess what? I'm happy. And here's the lower yard. There's that thing steaming over there again. You can see a lot better this uh, SD70 AC doesn't put as much uh, smoke out as that C30 did. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a barge down there. That's, what, that's what's the coal barge or something. That's the dock area down there. Andrew's working down there, actually. He could have dropped those off over at the, where I'm headed now. Here we go. Doing switches on the fly here. Just that good. And there's that guy still digging that hole. He's not gotten very far. I don't see a hole there at all. Bag it on up. go that's correct beautiful
No trespassing. Very dangerous here in the rail yard. You get stomped any second. Have one of your limbs flange right off. <laughs> Why am I laughing at that? I don't know, but it's true. Okay. Now we're going to roll him out of this yard. This should all be set correctly, right? I mean, I just did it for Harry, but, you know, let's check it again just to be safe. All right, then he's going to ride all the way out here. And the oil facility should be this first one right here on the left, right? And that's set correctly? Yeah. It is. That's Exxon Oil right down there. There we go. There we go. Beautiful. Now we got a 40 mile an hour speed limit here. Well, actually the speed limit's right there. We're coming up on it. It's always 40 until the computer, until the engine passes something. And it's 40. I just saw the sign. So it is 40. Let's go up by two more underneath this underpass here. That's cool. Under or over? Over. All right, good choice. Uh, let's get up above these telephone poles. We're going to get smacked in the face. I think that's the track right over there, isn't it? I think so. Uh, nope, it sure isn't. Okay, very good. Oh, there's the oil facility right there in front of us. We haven't passed it yet. Give it a little juice here. And we're not going to do a tracking camera on this one because we don't have very far to go. We're just going to stick with him right here. There we go. That's a comfortable speed. 39. Close enough, huh? Beautiful scenery. The water looks really cool, doesn't it? The Duke. Now the Duke. Hmm. He's going to take these back to Tidewater. That's where they're going to be uh, reclassified. Uh, how's he going to do that? Is he just going to have to back it? I mean, it's not very far just gonna have to back it in because I am not seeing I don't can he run around these he might be able to run around them here in the yard I'm not sure A little rail bridge action for you Slow it down here. Nice. Jump on out there, pal. Whoa, we cleared it that quick? We, I think we were still on top of it when it said we were cleared it. Okay. I was going to switch it back, but you know, I don't think I'm going to. Because we're coming right back out with it. We're just going to hook on. Uh, technically, they probably would switch it back to mainline because he's got to, he's got to, uh, you know, uh, charge the brakes. But uh, it's only nine cars. Can't take that long, right? Nine cars, a few minutes, maybe would be my guess. All 
Brady? Take it down to at least 16 miles an hour. Let's not get crazy. Let's get whacked in the face by this tree. All right. Now, we're going to stop it right here because we're going to... Is there a way to run around? I thought there was a way to run around out here. Is there? Oh, yeah, there is. Look at that. Okay, so we can run around. Now, the question is, do we want to run around? Uh, yeah, I'm going to say we do because um, when we get to the yard, we could push him right onto that track. Uh, onto the uh, inbound track and let uh, Dave sort them and everything else. Um, but he's got to go. He's got to go to the service uh, to get serviced anyway, and, and park back where he where he goes. He doesn't have any other jobs other than this one today, uh, and therefore we got to put him back in the engine shop. So he's got to run back down that side anyway. So we're we are going to run around. You'll see what I mean when we get there. If you don't, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, but don't feel bad. Most of the time, I don't know what I'm talking about, and I'm the one who's running this. Of course, the other question is, are these... Yeah, they're already set to none. Uh, we'll let Thomas uh, decide where they're going to go when it's time. We're not going to reclassify him now. It's kind of a nice shot here, huh? Farm in the background, a couple silos. That's party. Moving through the yard. This is already set correctly. We're not going to set this correctly. We're pulling out that way. All right. Uh, whoops. <laughs> okay, I forgot I was attached to that. I thought I was on free camera. Okay. Oh, I'm no longer... I'm, <laughs> I'm looking for the controls. Thinking, Where, I, why can't I see how fast he's going? Because you... Remember, you clicked on those tankers. You're in control of the tankers. Okay, so he's going to do long hood uh, back into uh, Tidewater. Such is life. You got to swivel your chair around the other direction. And you got to look down the long hood to see what's coming. It's a pain. Okay, that way, that way, very good. Here we go. And let us hook on to this tanker right here. I was going to push those back out onto the main line. Make sure again these are set correctly. They are. This one way over here. Perfect. Back we go. Ah, uh, we're going to get up near 16. Of course, why wasn't I doing 16 when I was backing down here? I don't know. So I was afraid someone's going to walk in between the tankers here out onto this track and get themselves smoked. That's the reason I'm not worried about it. Of course, there's nothing to really hide behind here, right? Nobody's going to walk out on anything. Alrighty. Now, we set these out. Like I said, another one of my locals set these out a while ago. Well, maybe a while ago. It was like maybe two episodes ago. And got them done. In fact, I think it was... Was it Andrew or was it Dave? Somebody... No, Andrew's working the Tidewater dock, so maybe it was Dave. Not that it matters. I'm just saying. That 
tower that just popped into view. I think that is uh, Tidewater Mills. Big grain facility on the Tidewater side. Purdue Grains is the big one that's right in River Point. These trees are lovely. They have a lot of power outages. Branches falling on these lines right here. These trees are all up in these uh, power lines. These even have wires on them? No. Are these just old ones that nobody uses anymore? Maybe that's what it is. They're abandoned. Okay, I'm looking at power lines. I paid attention. We're crossing a uh, level crossing up here. Yeah, that was way too late, but let's pretend it wasn't. Okay, let's go back to Tidewater. I think uh, 65 is where we were at to get to 39. We'll check back here in just a second. I'm going to make sure the switches are right going the other way now. So we're going to go back past the retaining wall there over the bridge, back into Tidewater. Only now we're going to go to the Tidewater through track. I always keep this one clear. Here's the inbound right here. And then what we'll have him do is, uh, oh boy, he's going to miss everything. That's all right. We'll have him back down to here, over here. I forgot. I thought it crossed over sooner. But that's all right. Uh, then he'll come back up. And uh, is this the inbound right here? No. That's track one, right? That's yeah, track one. So this is the inbound right here. Uh, track one's got to... We got to get rid of everything here on track one as soon as we can. But he should, he'll be able to clear it to the inbound. Then he'll come down this track here. Connect up here. Then he'll back back down. Come up this track here to get back into here. <laughs> you got all that? All right. Good. I'm glad. Oh, good. We didn't miss the retaining wall. Now, see, these these poles have lines on them, and so do these poles here. Maybe those are just abandoned poles. Back over there on the Exxon side. All right, we'll, we'll choose it to 70. I thought, I thought 65 was the sweet spot. Apparently, it is not. And we got a yellow, which is what I forget. Approach to signal. So it's an approach. Harry's waiting for track clearance. Yeah, you're going to have to wait, Harry. We all got turn. We all want to be on YouTube. We all got turns. Just going to have to be patient. I really like my UMR route because it's so huge, but I really like these smaller routes too. Things happen faster, happen quicker. It's fun. Oh, look at that. Now we hit 40 miles an hour. Under the bridge. Hey, okay, why is this red? We're never going to stop in time. I don't know why that's red. Maybe just red because we're entering the yard. It's always red. I don't know. Okay. Still got a 40 mile an hour thing here. Let's speed back up. Past the wonderful town of Tidewater. We get a good view of it here. High rise apartments. Nice downtown. 
I'd be sitting down here every day on this bench just watching these trains, huh? Pick myself, I don't see any benches, but I'd, I'd build a bench and bring it out here. Sit out here. Do some rail fanning all day long. get some KFC and it's a Dairy Queen for dessert this place has got everything looks like we have a red here too why is this red Stop, then proceed. Uh, let's see if it does it. If we can stop in time. I'm, I'm going to say no, we're not going to stop in time. I hadn't planned on it. Yeah. Okay, that was fun, wasn't it? <laughs> i got to speed back up. Yeah. That's probably all it is. It's red. They want you to stop before leaving or uh, entering the yard so the towers can clear you. And I just blew right through everything. That's nice. In the future, I'll have to remember that. I have to actually look at the signals and pay attention a little bit more. Now, we got an approach on this one, yes. We are throttling up and down on this thing. Now, we got a crossover, so we're definitely going to want to take it down to 15. Now, we'll take it all the way down to 10 miles an hour. That'll make up for those times where I didn't come to a complete stop. Okay, no, it doesn't at all, but it makes me feel better. So, okay, so this, and then we got this. Yeah. Okay. Those up there look like they're okay so far. Of course, the Duke's got those sunglasses on, and that's why he don't stop for no stop and proceed. He's like, nah, 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 nah. They call me the go man because I go. That's the Duke talking, by the way. That's how he sounds. He sounds just like me. I know it's crazy. So the uh, little uh, saying I have, of course, with my uh, with my uh, channel is uh, this may not be the channel for you. Uh, and when I was first contemplating, maybe even about a year ago, when I was thinking maybe I should do YouTube, I was thinking to myself, maybe I should. My little saying should not be this may not be the channel for you. It should be railroading at its finest. Let's go to the front carriage here. And then I made my first video. And then, you know, before I published it, I wanted to look at it. I always look at all my videos before I publish them. Uh, make sure, you know, if anything I want to add or change or, or uh, you know, re refilm or whatever. <clears throat> so after I watched my first video ever that I made, I thought, uh, this is not the finest. I've seen guys that do better than I do. So it's a lie, all right? I don't want to treat my uh, subscribers to a lie every time they tune in. So it's not railroading it's at its finest. It's this channel may not be for you. I think it's more truthful. Sure. Because we all know how honest and truthful the Internet is. Okay, so we're going to roll these down. This is set right yeah, And then hook them up. Just so Thomas doesn't have to do it. We could drop them on the track here and make Thomas come back and get them. But we'll push them up. We'll do Thomas a, a solid. Got some reefers here. I don't think we've dealt with reefers on this route yet, have we? I don't think we have. 
That's going to be in uh, Tidewater Park. Is that what I'm calling that part? Or no, Tidewater... No, River Point, not... Uh, okay, I'm looking. We're calling it uh, River Point Spur. Yeah, sure. <laughs> that sounds about right. Let's get down on it a little bit. Give him a little bump here. There we go. There's the little bump we wanted to give. Nope, wrong way. Scoot back to the front here. And do. You're going to apply that handbrake. Thank you. You're going to decouple. Now you're going to back off. Why did it jump like that? I don't know. Take it back up to 45. And now... He's going to back out of here, right? And then he's going to go here. And then we're going to have him go this way. He'll go over onto track four. In order to get into here. Well, let's set it all up. Why not? Let's do it all. There's nobody waiting there because Harry just left. And he was the only one in there, I'm pretty sure, right? Well, we got to open the door, though. Uh, open door one. Uh, where is it? Here it is. We'll open door one. If I roll over here, let's uh, roll down door two. Okay, that sounds about right. Uh, we'll take another look. There's nobody in here, right? Oh, there is somebody in here. Who's this? Who is that? Yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll, I don't want to click on it right now because I want to control uh, Duke here. But when we get in there, we're going to check out who that is. I don't know. Maybe it's uh, maybe it's just a road train. It's not one of my locals. It might just be a road train. We'll see. I change things up all the time. Now, some of you may have noticed that I put a real quick 15 minute video going through my spreadsheet some people asked if I wouldn't mind putting it on there and I don't so I did you will find out that it's not very complicated or sophisticated in any way uh, in fact there are some errors on it that I point out a little bit because every once in a while I start changing the way I do things when I think of something else and uh so you'll, you'll see. If you want to look at it, it's not in any of my playlists. It's just on my videos. You'll see. Uh, it'll say uh, the trains. It was published on the 5th. So uh, it'll say uh, train spreadsheet or something like that. Or the trains spreadsheet tour, I think is what I called it. So. And all you do is look at a spreadsheet, which makes sense because it's a spreadsheet tour. All right, so let's pull in here and find out who this mystery train is. Let's do some bell action. Getting ready to go into this uh, facility here. And the service road, of course. Normally I go inside. Let's stick on this one this time. Although it's hard to see. Oh, look at that. Ooh. No, let's not do that. There we go. Make this better. I'm more of a stay on the outside of the trains kind of guy. I've mentioned that before. And if you've watched my videos for any amount of time, you've probably gathered that on your own. Bait one, please. So 
awful dark in here. Can you turn the shed lights on in here? I don't know. Feels like we're working in a cave. Okay, so let's turn him off there. Let's kill his light. Now, who's this? This is... Philippe? Is he one of my drivers? Is he one of my locals? No. How would I know? He's not. He's not. So he's just a road dude. That's why I didn't recognize him. Okay, so that is the end of Duke's turn. And now I'm going to put you guys on pause so I figure out what's going on next. Thomas, that's whose turn it is now. Wait a minute. This isn't Thomas. No, it's not. But Thomas is working the Tidewater Yard. He's got his uh, uh, SW1500. And uh, he has been told by the Yardmaster to get rid of track one that's going to River Point. We do not have a local available to do that. So this uh, 4596 is an SD80 Mac. It's not an FD70 ACE. How about that? Something different. And this is Philippe, our newest guy. We have no one else to take it. So he's going to act. Uh, he's going to turn into a local, I should say. And he's going to act as a, I don't know, a yard to yard road train in this case. I guess is what you'd call him. Uh, but first, we're going to have to uh, open up this door here. Now, come on. Here we go. View the details. No, it's not it. Okay, maybe if I go over on this side. Let me go over on this side. Do the detail. There we go. Okay, so we're going to open up door two. There we go. That should have done it. I think. And he's going to go hook up to uh, trying to think and do things at the same time. And that's when I start talking slowly. Uh, he's going to hook up to track one. Do the con uh, the cut that's on uh, track one, the consist on track one. All right. Here comes the SD80 Mac. That's a thing of beauty. Coming out of Bay 2. Yes, sir. So even those two guys are impressed. Oh, forgot the golden horn for the service track. And his headlights now. Okay, so Philippe. Oh, no. We don't want that. There you go. That's what we want. Uh, Philippe is our what? One, two, three, four, five. Our sixth local that I have employed. It should be said already, right? This is like the third train we've run through on this uh, route here. So we're good. Everybody else is busy. And Duke, although we didn't, Duke's sitting there. He's not doing anything. Duke's our empty guy. He's the gopher guy. We don't use him to do this. Now, how did I get Philippe? Well, I called the headquarters down in Jacksonville, Florida, and said, you know, we got a guy by the name of Philippe, the Philippe's crew here. They've been looking for a uh, reassignment anyway. What do you guys say? Uh, we take him off a long haul road, put him on local. And he said, who is this? And then I explained it to him, and they said, uh, so you're playing a, a, a game, and you want to know if we'll... And then I realized I had actually called the CSX Jacksonville people, so I hung up the phone, and then just in my brain, I pretended I called them, and at which time they said it was okay. Oh boy! Okay. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, that, that that just got all messed up. That was just horrible right there. I got so flustered with my uh, calling the real Jacksonville people that. Uh... Okay, whatever. Why is the? Oh boy. Okay, here we go. I think I'm done being flustered.
all Tidewater today. Piers. All right, Mr. Conductor Man. This way, then we're going to go this way. Yes, yes, that's where we're going to hook up. Yes, this should be wrong now, right? We just we just brought Duke back, and he had to go on the uh, bypass track. Somebody wrote me a little while ago, too, telling me that uh, here in Tidewater, um, Norfolk Southern runs this. I think uh, somebody else he said. I can't remember. Uh, and I always thought that'd be kind of cool to have different, you know, engines running in different yards. But I just, I just, I don't know why. I just never got around to doing that. You may have noticed that I'm a bit CSX crazy. I just am. I like it. I like the way the engines look. And that's about it, yeah. Because uh, these Norfolk Southern and everything has the same kind of engines as anybody else. Uh, some may be more heavy one way than another in a certain model, but for the most part, from what I've seen anyway, they all kind of run the same kind of engines. If I'm wrong, let me know, but I'm pretty sure that's that's the deal. Okay, so we're going to connect up here. There we go. Now, before we send him off, uh, just take a look here. You can see that that was that one that we you know had to get rid of. Uh, it's the only one that's too long. The markers are right here. Uh, and then here in the south yard, you can see, although it's getting filled up, it's going to be a little bit. Now, the markers for the south yard are quite far down. It's right there. So, that's how I'm doing it. All righty. Back on this end. And now, this young man, uh, Philippe, is going to run himself over to River Point. We're going to have a, we're going to have quite the backup over at River Point. <laughs> I kind of like it, though. I like it when it kind of gets backed up like that, and I got to kind of work my way around it. It becomes like a puzzle to move people where they need to go. Go, baby. There he goes. All right. So I'm going to put you guys on pause, and I'll figure out what we're doing next. Andrew is where we are at, and Andrew has been working since the series started, I believe. <laughs> On this dock, he's finally done servicing these industries. He just got done unloading the last four coal. Uh, now, he was working uh, Tidewater Ethanol, which is right over here on the dock, right here. But I see those cars are gone. I don't see them anywhere. Uh, he's also got the Dole Fruit Dock, which is right here. Those cars are gone. Uh, and then Tidewater Diesel, which is up in right here. Yep, and those cars are going. I think I, I kind of remember uh, running them up already to uh, the inbound track, and they were already reclassified and everything else. Uh, so now he's just got to take all these coal cars that he has in various places. Uh, and he has uh, uh, his motive power here is an SD60 right here, and that's an SD40 dash 2. Okay. So let's get him going now. Now, is it backwards or forwards? I think it's backwards, right? It is backwards. So here's this first cut he's got to pick up here that we stuck over. Uh, got permission from the uh, scrap metal iron guys since they weren't loading anything anyway. Uh, we got permission to put our uh, cars there. Kind of stack them there till we can come back and get them later on. This is correct. Now, this is correct here, right? What, what, yeah, it is. Okay. That's correct. We're going to have to back him down this way. Oh, is that...
Little yard work. Very unusual for my channel. Pull this into here. Look out, peeps. Several tons is coming your way. I'll let the slack go out there. Pull back again to make sure the last car is moving. I didn't do anything weird. It is. Then we're going to fly out in front here to make sure this is all set correctly. It is. Yes, indeedy. And yes, indeedy. Very nice. This fan's turning, but not this one or this one. Hmm. Probably has to do with how hot it is in there, right? Only the number of fans turn that need to turn. here now to this switch which we've done many times in the past we're gonna do it again and that's the beauty of my channel repetition if you see something you like you're probably gonna see it again in the near future So Andrew's going to take these coal and he's going to put them up on the inbound track. Is there going to be enough room? I don't know. We'll find out. Then we're going to give him a new job. I'm pretty sure some industries need to be serviced. I run it, they deliver, then they go pick up whatever needs to be picked up, then they return back to Tidewater to get serviced and then ready for their next job. Alrighty. Wait until 833429 passes here. Beautiful. It was a harsh stop. Okay, that was fun. Now let's do it the right way. There we go. Now you got it. Back around. Oop. Let's pull these out, head on up to the track. Again, let's make sure all of this is moving. Last car is moving. We're good. Last car is moving. Take me back to the front.
Now all of these are empty, so they should no longer say Burnside Coal Dock, should they? No. Okay, so we're going to zip up to the front here while we're rolling back. And we are going to tag them as they're rolling, huh? Tag. 28 cars. Yes, sir. What are you going to tag them as? None. Thank you. Are they all none now? They all are none. Beautiful. So now we'll go back to the front. There we go. We can uh, up our speed here. And we can kill that bell. Thank you. Thank you, bell. All right. So he's got to come all the way back here. Yes. Yes. And that'll be like that. And that'll be like this, right? Because then he's going to come back down this track. And he's going to push these. Oh, he's going to push these. All on to the inbound. Now this one long. If, if we run out of room, we'll stick them on this uh, on track one to make up for it. Okay, go a little faster than that. Now, where's Andrew going to go next? That would be the next question, isn't it? While you guys are watching the wonderful views here of Andrews. We're going to hit too many of these trees. Uh, we're going to switch Andrew over to pickup mode. There he goes. Okay, that was the that was the wrong thing. <laughs> there we go. Switch him over to pickup mode, and then let's look at our industries. Who needs pickup? Well, it looks like Tidewater Mills needs pickup, and they want us to pick up twelve cars. And I'll have to see how heavy that is. Once that happens. Okay, so this is... Uh, I forget who's doing that one, but this is Andrew right here. Alright, All right, let's slow down for these uh, crossovers. Switches. He's going to Tidewater Mill. He's only going to pick up 12 of those hoppers. Uh, yeah. Well, let's think about me. We can get rid of one of these engines that he's hauling, but eh, I'm changing my mind on that because... Uh, oh, wait. I messed this up, did I? No. Yeah, that's right. And that's right. There's nothing else. Oh, there's nothing else past this. this is, no, there's not. Okay. We're good. I got nervous for a second. Um... Uh, but yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna drop one of his engines because there's other places too. Tidewater Mills has an order in, uh, Grayson Farms has an order in, and Riverport Refinery has an order in. Uh, so we have quite a few industries to go yet. I think someone else is running around picking stuff up at this point too. Yeah, it's Dave. Dave's doing Purdue grains right now. Uh, so whoever gets there first, that's how I do it. Whoever gets there first. Whoever gets done with their current job will stand around on the next one. Which I know, again, is not how they really do it. They would get a switch list of all the jobs they're going to do in the day. They don't get them as they go. But you have to realize that I'm one person running this route. And I can't keep track of everything. So I do it much more methodically. And a lot of times the trains will drive unnecessary distances or drop something off where they could pick something up if they if I would just look. But I like to drive the train, so what do I care for wasting time and making trains go places where they're not supposed to go? Or if there could be a more efficient way of doing it. I don't. It's all about the trains. Okay, slack is out. No, 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 Did that second time now. He's going this way. Now it's 35 mile an hour here. Wasn't it 40 before when we came down this way? We may have crossed a signal going the other way. Or a speed limit time. 
All right, so uh, I'm mumbling now. Uh, we might be able to fit these on here. Unsure. So let's uh, let's hop to the front here. Here we go. I don't know what Andrew is rated on this. Uh, what's his uh, motor power rated at? He's got SD60, which is 3,800. And then he's got an SD40-2, which is... Where are you at? 3,000. You add those together, what do you get? You get 6,800. That's what he's rated at. 6,800. Okay, we're going to slow this down a little bit now. Okay, so uh, let me write that down somewhere, or put it on the spreadsheet, I mean. Andrew is rated for 6,800, so we'll have him uh, run around and pick things up until he exceeds his, uh, his rating weight. That's how I do that. Keep picking stuff up until you can't carry no more, and then come home with it all. All right. Thomas, we just keep piling this stuff on. This is normally what happens when I do routes like this is it just keeps, as industries get serviced and it comes back, it just starts to pile up. interesting to see if this fits or not now. I have no idea. I'm going to guess no. Mind you, guess. And let's take it down to there. Beautiful. Okay. What's going on? Yeah, I guessed right. No. All right, so what we're going to do is... Now, uh, see, I have other routes. Problem is, is if, I, if this is the only route I'd run in, I'd put it over here, and I would, I'd, I'd remember. Maybe I can just leave it like that, right? Just let it, let it follow that switch out? That way, I won't have to remember that the one last few on track one are over here. Do we have any space to push it forward? We do... Hmm. Let's push it forward. Should be coming. There we go. It just took a while. So let's push it up to this frog here. Just to make more room. Normally I keep it underneath the uh, signal there, but the gantry. There we go. Whoa, whoa, geez, look at that slack. All right, now th did that fix our problem? Yes, it did. Look at that, huh? There's some professional trains in for you right there. Okay, so now I said, where's I going to send Andrew up to? Was it uh, Tidewater Mills? It is. That's where Tidewater uh, wants. They have 44 empties up there, but they just have 12 that they want picked up now. Uh, but I'm looking over at our time, and we are out of time, folks. That's it. Uh, hope you had fun. Leave me a like. Why don't you subscribe? Give me some comments. What did you see right about this? What did you see wrong about it? What did you see anything about it? Yeah. Uh, if you don't like the fact that I've given Thomas so much work to do, and you don't think it's fair, well, this just may not be the channel for you.